I think a lot of times when we think, you know, about the risks that we take, we think about what can we lose from this? If we walk away from this opportunity, if we walk away from this thing, what are we going to lose from this? But I don't think we think enough. And I, I certainly wasn't. We don't think about what could I gain? If I walk away from this, what could I act? What, how could this make my life better? And what could I gain from this? And I think a lot of times we talk about regret. We talk about things that we did. But if you look back on your life and you think about opportunities that you didn't take advantage of, I, I guarantee you'd find a lot of regret there. And I would love to say I jump on every opportunity. I talk to every person that I wanted to talk to, you know, but I've done it a lot. I've, I've jumped on opportunities. I, I, I've learned over the years that it's always great to ask a question, even when it's most likely you're going to get a no, just to kind of put yourself out there and share those ideas. Cause you just never know what possibly good thing could happen. So as you're kind of, as I'm kind of talking through this and sharing, I think about some of the risks that I was willing to take to move away from things that not weren't not necessarily making me miserable, but weren't making me happy, that weren't bringing joy to my life each day. And I don't necessarily think that every job in the world should like every kid should follow their passion. I think that when we talk about career, I think, you know, some people, a job is what they make money with and that's it. And everything else in their life is what brings them joy. And, and that's awesome. If that, if that's what gets them up in the day, that's great. I love that. But I, I know there's some times that I think back on, when I think back on me taking that risk that I, I didn't know if I'd ever be in education. I just knew that if I stayed, I would hate it. I would hate what I was doing. And so I took that risk. And recently, I was speaking at a conference and I, I'm going to tell you getting up on stage and doing a keynote. I love it. I, I honestly remember watching. Um, I remember watching somebody do it when I was, you know, a teacher and uh, speaking. I'm like, I'd like to do that one day, <clears throat> but never really thought about it. Like, I was just like, that, that looks cool. And that was it. It was basically all that happened out of that thought. And I remember being in that keynote and doing this and I almost felt like I had this out of body experience and I just kind of looked and I, I just kind of looked, I'm like, you're crushing this. This is like so good. You are just doing such a good job. I just felt like everything, my timing was really good. Um, the audience was really excited about what I was sharing. I could just feel the energy and it was like, I was getting, giving energy to the audience. The audience was giving energy back to me. And for me, there was just no better feeling than in that moment to feel I am, I am like doing something that I am truly meant to do. I just feel it. I just feel this emotion right now. And there are so many things that I did and I, I still do to get to that point, the way that I go and study speakers, um, the way that I, you know, I watch, like, I still watch videos of like, you know, Ted talks and, you know, Jim Valvano, I watched Jim Valvano's videos a million times. I, I just love the way he delivers things because I don't see it as just something I do. I see it as an art form. And I, I want to just do, just make that art as meaningful as possible. Um, the connections of me, the stuff that I, you know, read, the way that I write about stuff that I eventually talk about. And the reason I, I write about it is so I can kind of like dive through it in my mind. The reason I do some of these podcasts is so I can kind of dig into ideas and I can just kind of like work through my ideas so that when I, they get to a place where I'm presenting them on a stage, they're just really refined and, and thought out. So there are a million things that I can point to that I do to have got to that point where I feel this is just something I love doing. This is just where I'm meant to be. And I'll tell you, there's just literally no better feeling than that. That and, and not only that, this is where I'm meant to be, but I'm I'm good at this. Like I'm really good at this and I love it. And I'm proud of that. And I know that sometimes, you know, some of you might be, oh, he's just bragging. Now. Yeah, I am bragging. I, I've worked really hard to do this. And I think that if you if you're offended that I'm proud of something, then are you offended when kids are proud of something they do? We encourage kids to you know be proud of when they they know they've done something right i don't think i'm better than anyone or anything like that 
what I do think is I found something that I love that I just feel I'm, I'm really good at. 